everyone and welcome to our flooding awareness video. I'm Eric Poston from NeoWeather.com. We're going to educate you a little bit more on topics related to flooding and what flooding is. So let's start out by taking a look at what is flooding. Well, flooding is an overflow of a body of water. As you can see here in this picture, there's definitely some flooding occurring and this car is attempting to drive through it. We'll talk about whether you should drive through flooded waters or not here in just a few moments. But flood watches and flood warnings. Well, flood watches, they're issued by the National Weather Service when flooding conditions are expected in the next 24 to 48 hours. So a watch will be put out prior to a flooding event occurring. Compared to a flood warning means flooding is occurring and will continue to occur for an extended period of time. So if a flood warning is issued for your area, you'll want to be on alert for rising water near rivers and streams and possibly even some flooding in your basement depending on how saturated your yard is and your drainage system, how much it can handle. Now flash flood watches and flash flood warnings a flash flood watch is issued when conditions are favorable for flash flooding to occur, while a flash flood warning is issued when flash flooding is imminent or occurring in a specific area. As you can see here, this guy is standing in water that has surrounded his house due to a flash flood. Now some flooding safety tips. These are things you need to remember if flooding is going to occur or if you live near a stream or river definitely you'll want to be on alert don't drive through flooded waters as this car here is attempting to do and as we showed you in the opening slide remember that six inches of water can sweep a person off of their feet while 18 inches of water can sweep a car away and stay alert if you live near a stream or river as I mentioned before if heavy rain falls that river can fill up quickly and begin flooding your property and like I said possibly even into your basement and a flooded basement is something no one wants to have to deal with because it can create quite a mess and remember to turn around don't drown if you see water across the roadway you're better off just to turn around and head the another direction and go around that water rather than trying to go through it because oftentimes you can't see how deep the water is and attempting to drive through it is not a safe thing to do. Now when it comes to NEO weather, how do we keep you updated about flooding? Well, we provide rainfall maps to let you know just how much rain is expected across the state. This is a great feature on our website. We have both a entire state map and a local uh, map that just shows the uh, northeastern Ohio counties and how much rain you can expect over the next 48 hours to occur so you know to prepare will it just be a little rain or will this be actually a flooding rain of maybe two or three inches of rain where you need to be prepared now state-of-the-art radar to pinpoint where the heaviest rain falls uh, where, yeah where the heaviest rain falls and accumulates as you can see on this image we have here it shows how much rain fell across northeastern Ohio in a period of time. As you can see, we've got some pinks and reds in there. That's a strong indication that it was quite a heavy rain event. We can tell you exactly how much rain fell. But we can also tell you where heavy rain is and where it's heading by using our NEO weather radar and try and pinpoint exactly who will receive the heaviest rain and when. So that's one of our features. And you can get our live streaming radar online, and we're always posting radar updates on our fan page and Twitter. Plus the latest watches and warnings. This is great. As soon as a flood watch or a flood warning is issued, we'll post it on our page and our website and we'll let you know who will be what counties are under this watch or warning and when it starts, when it ends, and how much rain for you to expect in that period. So that's a great feature and you can get those alerts I believe sent to your phone if you subscribe to Neil Weather on Facebook uh, then you get them right to your phone and you can stay updated now remember this week guys is the severe weather week on neoweather.com our Facebook page and our Twitter page from March 26th through the 30th 
We had our tornado safety video. We have uh, many other safety videos this week that you're going to want to check out to help you stay prepared for upcoming severe weather that we'll be experiencing during the spring and summer months. These videos have tips and just ways to keep you safe and how you can stay informed during this upcoming severe weather season.